Hello, hello, welcome. I don't know, why do I always do that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product review. I haven't done one of these in a long time and I've been testing out this product for about a month um, and I think it's amazing and I think a lot of you would really love it. So we are going to be reviewing Right Rice. So it says, I have their little um, thing. This is not, not sponsored. Totally bought it with my own money. I don't know why I have to say that, but I just have to. Or I feel the need to. I don't know. Um, I will let you guys know if I ever get anything sponsored, but I don't have any sponsorships or any of that. So everything is with my own money and I always test things out. So yeah. Anyways, so it says on their paper that came with my box, um, the holy grail of grainovation. It says, have your rice, eat your veggies too. Each serving is about 10 grams of complete protein, 5 grams of fiber, and almost 40% less net carbs. And just to compare uh, this brand rice with white rice, more than double the amount of protein in regular rice, um, definitely more fiber, and way less carbs so they are non-gmo vegan kosher it's a complete protein it's gluten free and there's a low glycemic index so all of those things sound amazing um i decided to get this box from them this is the variety box and it says made from vegetables <laughs> So this is rice made from veggies, basically. It doesn't taste like cauliflower rice, okay? There's actually uh, more substance in them. Let me pull out one for you guys to see. Where's the one I had out? Oh, by the way, the variety pack comes in a six pack, right? Yeah, six pack. It's basically 90% veggies and a little bit of rice. So it's definitely a plant-based protein plus fiber. This is really, really easy to make. All you do is boil one and a third cups of water and pour this in and wait till it boils again. Take it off the heat and let it sit for 12 minutes. Then you fluff it up with a fork. So very simple. The variety box I got, which is here, um, came in four flavors. It's original garlic and herb, uh, Spanish, and lemon pepper. So I'm just gonna go through the ones. Um, I've tried all the flavors. Each bag, I wanna show you guys a bag. Each bag comes like this. And there's a bit of, there's a Ziploc right here. I don't know if this is a recyclable bag. I will have to reach out to them and find out. So the rice is made from vegetables and it's a blend of lentils, chickpeas, peas, and rice. So it looks like rice. This is the Spanish uh, flavor. When I eat it, it has the same texture as rice. Not as mushy and soft, a little bit more dense. And you fluff it up and it's ready to go. I think that's amazing. I love that there's veggies in it. I love that there's protein in it. As a mostly plant-based person and someone who's very active, I appreciate that it's a complete protein. So I'm getting a lot more protein in, in my day. Uh, so I'm gonna go through the flavors I tried. I first tried original. Um, Tasted a little more dense um, than the other ones. I don't know why. It was flavorless. Um, I thought it was really great with like curries and soups. It didn't get mushy. I would use the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning with the rice um, sometimes. Or I would just put it in like soups or curry or whatnot. And it was really good that way. So that was the original. The next one I tried was the Spanish. I love the Spanish one. It tastes like, kind of like Spanish rice. And um, if you're Vietnamese, um, it kind of tastes like gum da, which is red rice. And that's basically just like a tomato paste with rice kind of a thing. Uh, but I made vegan um, shaken beef or baduplak with the Spanish rice and it was so good. It was amazing. I loved it. The next one I tried was the garlic and herb. That one was amazing as well. 
amazing flavors oh my goodness and the last one I tried was the lemon pepper the lemon pepper definitely had a lemony pepper feel to it um, I think it would be great if you guys eat fish or whatnot that would be a great dish um, I found that the lemon pepper one couldn't sit out very long compared to the other flavors I think I had it sitting out like overnight because I cooked it the night before and then by lunchtime the next day it kind of had a weird funky smell to it I don't know I don't know why so yeah but the other ones I left out and it was fine if I had to um, rank the flavors my absolute favorite would have to be garlic and herb hands down so delicious second favorite would be Spanish rice um, that one's really really good too it's just the garlic and herb is just more my thing more my flavor um, the next one would probably be the original um, oh, I don't know. No, the next one would be the lemon pepper. I did like the flavor. Um, it was okay. It was pretty good. Not my favorite, clearly, um, but it was still pretty good. My least favorite, but still pretty good, is the original. Um, like I said, I just felt like it was more chewy, nuttier. I don't know how to explain it. Um, just more dense, but it worked great in soups and curries, like I said. So, yeah, that's how I would rank it. I did finish the variety box. The box came in a six pack and after I finished it, I reordered only the Spanish and garlic and herb because those are the only flavors I care about. I've been cooking and testing this uh, brand for a while now and I haven't labeled it or anything in my stories but there was a reason because I wanted to test it out to make sure I liked it before I like, you know, said anything to you guys about it. I recommend it. I think you guys should try it out. This is really great if you're trying to cut carbs, if you're trying to get more veggies in, if you're trying to get more protein in. It's kind of like a win-win-win, so like, why not, right? I got this product from Amazon, um, Amazon Prime, but it says on their website they're also available at Whole Foods. I haven't seen it in my Whole Foods, unfortunately. Um, that would make life easier and better. <laughs> but um, yes, you can definitely pick it up through Amazon and you can buy the individual flavors or try the variety pack. I definitely recommend trying the variety pack just to see what you like and what you don't like. I will list the price right here. And yeah. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you guys will try it. So simple, quick and easy to make. Honestly, I feel like all the flavors are pretty good, so you wouldn't waste anything. I just have, you know, preferences and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. This was a really quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to review or test out. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!